time. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I found this really great product that I wanted to share with everybody because I was working on um, the zany zebras and it's backwards. Okay, hold on one second. I can't seem to find. Okay, and I can't can't seem to find it, but so we're gonna hope that it is in the right direction. But I was working on the zany zebras, and while I was working on creating this carousel, you can see I have my little zebra on the outside, and then for the inside, I wanted the zebra to actually also face in the other direction. And I knew there was a way for me to reverse stamp. And I tried all the different techniques that I could. I used acetate. I used um, just the glass plate of my Tim Holtz uh, platform. I tried using a larger stamping block to stamp on the block and, and transfer the image and none of them seemed to work. They worked um, a bit, but I didn't like that the image didn't have a nice, crisp, dark um, print. So I just happened to come across and give me a second so I can find the page. I can find it here. This great product that I would recommend if you are looking to do reverse stamping. And it's a little hidden gem in the Stamping Up catalog. It's on page 162. And it is Right here, this little square, and the light is probably, but can you see this little dark square behind the stamping seal? That is a silicone craft mat, and I have it right here, and it is used um, under your projects when applying adhesives, to keep your surface adhesive-free. Um, it's also great when you're um, doing embossing with paste, like our shimmery paste, uh, shimmering white em embossing paste. That's what it's great for too. But I actually found that if you use this pad, let me just grab a stamp pad here, and you ink up your image. Make sure you have a good amount of ink on your stamp. And if you stamp directly onto this mat, and make sure you don't move it around, but you give it a nice, good stamp so you transfer as much ink as you can onto this silicone sheet and lift it straight off you see his hair really got really good take your paper lay it down and then give it a good rub make sure you really rub it good without moving that paper and i think i did move the paper and if you lift it off you get a fair, and it, actually you can see he got a lot of ink on his, the top of his mane. 
And you can see that on pad itself, there's really not that much ink left. So let's just give this another try. I know my stamp pad has one side that is really inky and the other side is not. So we'll just come down here, stamp this silicone pad, take our sheet of paper, lay it down, and then again, just give it a good rub. Just like that, lift it up. And this little guy, as you can see, he faces to the left. Now he faces to the right. And looking at these, the stamping is incredibly close. You really can't even tell with these two stamped images that you actually stamped it on the silicone sheet. And like I said, it is they do not list it as a way to reverse stamp they have it listed as keeping your work surface adhesive free and like i said it's the silicone craft sheet it's item number 127853 on page 162 in the annual catalog and this little baby is just six dollars i think it's well worth the money i keep it aside um, just for my reverse stamping and you can just see a little tiny bit but if you take a nice clean lint-free rag you can wash this off and it's very pliable and I love it so if you're looking to do reverse stamping I would suggest grabbing one of these because you can use it for any stamp available thanks for joining in I hope you learned something new today and it, you can head over to galfridaystamping.com to see um, all the creations that I've made over the last year. Have a great day. Bye-bye.